those results, it's obviously been a very good year. Career high ranking. Biggest uh, obstacle to Sabalenka. Hey, hey. yeah, it's definitely a big hurdle for Sabalenka to get to that Wimbledon semifinal before yeah. that. Did that on her debut here at the U.S. Open in 2008 and 18. And at the end of that year, you know, she was. So much power from the Sabalenka racket in the course of, of tournaments. And that shot still with good margin, well inside the line. That comes off her racket. She's so comfortable on the hard court. Sabalenka has won mo the majority of her titles on this mm -hmm. surface. Nice. And she gets so much ground force from the court and the surface. And when she is on balance, hits the ball as big as anyone. We were talking earlier about the blockbuster matches on this first day. See why Novak wanted to play doubles with her? It allowed her to reflex that last volley back. Just, just in both times at this mm -hmm. point. Not a lot of pace behind that serve right now. One oh four now is that yeah, is that yeah, Sabalenka's yeah. forehand? Ten first serves in so far and one every point. Pretty good measure of what you said of that first serve percentage is strong. Mm -hmm. is yeah, I mean the serve from Sabalenka is a real weapon and we talk a lot about her ground strokes and how big her forehand is. The serve sets Matches like this one, you know, I think, are more important Four because of those losses that Sabalenka mm -hmm. has taken. on the run after that shot not doing quite enough with this one and Sabalenka knew it was coming I mean a few more double faults to go with those aces the other part that surprised her that surprises you that Pedosa aces yet she's won this year and partly it's the mindset, the mentality for, that a player has, being aggressive on serve. That is nicely done from Stojanovic. Patient in the middle of that rally, but still looking to move the ball. Well, you figure, Chanda, two double faults in this game. So Stoyanovich has been spotted love 30. You really need yeah. to seize you need to seize. got to step up. I mean, that was a weird slice from Sabalenka, kind of in the middle of that point, mm -hmm. short. Oh, okay. nice. that forehand missed, and so...
that's been a good play for Stojanovic. I mean, she's yes. hitting wide, hitting to the Sablinka backhand, then moving the ball to the forehand. Sabalenka get right back to what is her strength, and that is attacking the ball. Hmm. That's a missed oh, opportunity. Yes. By Stojanovic, so. that get used up the most mm -hmm. at any tournament, especially when you have this kind of humidity. The free serves that aces and unreturnables that Sabalenka gets so often in her service games, that has been fewer and <laughs> far between, but a good adjustment. And that last point, that could have been tricky. Good first rounders. This is where Sabalika is most dangerous when she's got just a little extra time. Leans in. Got that back and so the first break of the second set goes to the serve. Ooh, wow. So third time Stojanovic has dropped her serve. shot as often from Sapolinka and she missed one or two of them early on and when you have that kind of pace and power that pace and depth that Sabalenka has often players are playing those extra events and what they may need points wise as you get closer to October November moment that you think that's what the winner does. Yeah, when you miss like that, you understand that reaction. Just hard yeah, to fathom.
She's still winning, but she's winning 86% on her first. Ooh. But that's, the, again, the jarring difference. I'd like to see that from Stojanovic. She's hasn't had this chance very often. Just her second main draw match. to her serve here. Just keeps going after it. Stojanovic's shot of the night. Getting this dipping volley off of her shoelaces, but Stojanovic comes up with one better. Nice little flick there yeah. at the end. thinking that very thing. If you win this point, and she just did, now that puts a real squeeze on Stojanovic. Hit a couple of lines from these yeah. game points. Scouting report we always talk about. She has one gear. Oh. It's pretty powerful. When they've, the last two winners have been off the yeah. backhand. Yeah. Match point. <laughs> this is not a match where Sabalenka has been able to really relax, and you can see it in her tennis. The squeeze on. And now Stojanovic is winning 53% of her second serves. It's just. Again, watch this. I'm having a hard time figuring this. So you can imagine what this is doing to Sabalenka, because it looks like we're going to play a third set. That's her seventh ace. So much more effective because Sabalenka, si, si, more si, often si, than not, si, will si. hit that ball. And she goes to the drop shot. Nina Stojanovic, think of this, just several weeks after being denied the chance to play in what she herself termed the biggest match of her life. Oh, there, Sabalenka got it, so... from Stojanovic. Shows some nice feel below the net. Very comfortable 
around the net in the midcourt area. And just picking the right shot at the right time there. To her credit, and she has just stayed very even. bigger moment for Sabalenka has yet to get up two breaks at any one point this would definitely give her some breathing room she could get a second break of serve I'm gonna ramp up that degree of difficulty <laughs> She did. She went to the change up there on the first serve, Chanda. Just rolled in at 82. Again. And Sabalenka, fourth ace of the set, 11th of the match. first couple of sets able to use her forehand up the line completely taking Sablinka by surprise there stay out of this try to just take a little off the surface That score, that's the operative word from this, survive. Yeah, that was a good effort by Nina Stoyanovich. Oh, to get that second set, but 